Well, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to Genesis chapter 14 on this absolutely beautiful morning. Who can believe we're into the second week, is it, of October and it's going to be 24 degrees today. Welcome to England. Oh, there's the sun there, look, holding the sun in my hand. Um, so here we go, Genesis chapter 14, verse 1. And it came to pass in the days of Amph. Am- Amraphel, king of Shinar, Arioch, king of Eleazar, Chedorlaomer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of nations, that they made war with Bera, king of Sodom, Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Admar, Shemember, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zor. All these joined together in the valley of Sidim, that is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Chedorlaomer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedorlaomer and the kings that were with him came and attacked the Rephaim in the Ashtaroth, Carnaim, the Zizim in Ham, the Emim in Shaveh, Kiriathaim, and the Horites in their mountain of Seir, as far as El Paran, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mispat, that is Kadesh, and attacked all the country of the Amalekites and also the Amorites who dwelt in Hazazon, Tamar. The king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Admar, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zor, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim against Chedorlaomer, king of Elam, Tidal, king of nations, Amraphel, try and say that, king of Shinar, and Arioch, king of Eleazar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of asphalt pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Some fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, Abram's brother, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram, the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshkol, the brother of Aner, and they were allies with Abram. Now when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hobar, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the valley of Sheve, that is the king's valley, after his return from the defeat of Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of the God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God most high, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say I have made Abram rich, except only what the young men have eaten and the portion of the men who went with me, Ana, Eshkol, and Mamre, let them take their portion. So that is uh, Genesis chapter 14. Have a great day. The Lord bless you and uh, see you tomorrow for the next chapter, Genesis chapter 15. And uh, we're going to see what happens. We see God make a covenant with Abraham. That is not to be missed. So God bless and see you soon.